I think the biggest opportunity is just that the players realize this is now a very, very special phase in their careers. You know, if we win the Gold Cup, we are qualified for the Confederations Cup. We're going to play a Copa America in 2016, 2017, the Confederations Cup, and then leading into the World Cup 2018. So we started already that process. So the players need, need to realize that we look at them already in the long term, but they have also to to provide short-term results, you know. So it's really important that everybody is, is on top of that message. And I think, you know, we want to see that personality now coming out of the players to take their careers in their own hands and, and prove to us and everybody out there uh, what they have. I don't look too much into the future. You know, I like living day by day, doing my best every day. And right now my goal is just to give Coach Klinsman and the rest of the teammates a good impression of myself. The most important thing is, is knowing what the guy next to you is going to do, his tendencies. And the communication is huge. So with new guys coming in, new blood, young guys developing, and different back lines and, and games, it, it's tough to come together so quick. It, it is going to take time to gel, but the sooner we play together and we, we try those new back lines, uh, the more comfortable we're going to be. The way we want to play with the high pressure, of course, it takes time. Everybody has to be on the same page. Everybody has to be able to to, to know the certain signals, you know, when it, whether it's Josie or whoever's playing up top or, you know, the left mid or in the center. Whoever goes set the tone for the press, that means everybody has to go do it at the same time because if somebody's one second too late or, you know, a step behind, it messes it up because it leaves the space open and then, you know, you end up running with your tongue hanging out. It's uh, everybody has to really be mentally focused. They have a very good team, a lot of very good players, guys who play at, at big clubs in Europe. And so we, we certainly have respect for them. Technically, they're, they're good players, they're skillful, they're comfortable with the ball. But at the same time, we're going to go after them. We're going to see if we can make it a difficult game for them and really uh, you know, tilt the bar in our favor. Another big test for the U.S. coming off of that loss to Denmark on Wednesday. In a big year, Gold Cup, World Cup qualification, all the calendar 2015 underway in Zurich. As Mubanj came flying forward, couldn't get there. Alejandro Bedoya, early cross, Jossie Zard is mishitting it. Best chance of the game for the U.S. so far. Altura slipping it through for Bedoya. He can catch up to it. Cuts back the cross, and Bradley's missed it from a great position. Shea over the wall, and Brooke Shea! Sensational free kick right at the end of the first half. 1-0 to the U.S. And one of the best times to score a goal just before halftime. Tactically, defensively, very good performance. I mean, we worked hard on uh, on shifting the whole group to stay connected, to double on the sides, you know, against very, very good players that come over the wings. It was a very good game from our end. Is going to get a yellow card. Foul. Oh, and oh, and he's been sent off. You just have to accept refereeing decisions. You can't let it affect you, and you most certainly cannot swear right to the referee's face. Shaka plays a short, gets it back. Right at Shaka, the cross now, knocked out again, and stabbed it on the doorstep. Valentin Stalker not even celebrating. Switzerland able to score with the man advantage, and the U.S. is able to hold on for a result. A 1-1 draw away to Switzerland. Valentin Stalker tying it up in the 80th minute. Going down a man for the last 20 minutes, you know, difficult conditions. And so to be able to stick together, have a strong mentality, and still find ways to, to come away with results on, on, in these kinds of games is, is very important. And I thought that part was very good. So we saw a lot of individual kind of performances that tell us, okay, you know, we are getting that piece of consistency once at a time. Uh, we'll be always a little bit up and down, but uh, overall was really good.